This is just a channel update since the channel is going to change focus a little bit. Uh, basically, I'm on schedule to start releasing some 3D tutorials next week, hopefully. And these videos will assume that you've watched the Kids Can Code 3D series, and I'll put a link in the, the description. Basically, I just don't want to bother with the super basics of 3D, uh, like going through the inspector and stuff, and his stuff is great anyway. So I will continue to work on the roguelike, but there just seemed to be more excitement about 3D, and I figured I might as well just go ahead and do it. I do want to take a quick moment to mention the format, how I will be releasing these videos. It's going to be the same as before, uh, but basically there will be a couple different uh, playlists that I will make, and some of the videos will be exploring ideas, and for example, in this one, we're going to explore different ways that you can move your player around and different controls, uh, because there just aren't very many tutorials that are different. Most of them are just a ball rolling around, and it's it's actually quite difficult to get things to move around properly in 3D. So we're going to take a few videos just to explore that, and then once we are done with those, we'll actually start a series where we make a game. Uh, it's going to be more like a concept of game, since I probably won't release too many assets to go with it. It's going to be a lot of primitives. But um, I hope you enjoy the series, and if you subscribe to my channel, you can vote to see what type of tutorial you want next. Like I said, first we're going to focus on the player movement, but uh, I will let you guys vote to see what type of game. There will be four different types of games. Basically, we'll look to see about building maybe a Star Fox game, or a Battlefront Space Battle game, or a racing game. And one of my personal favorites that's on my bucket list is also SimCopter. Uh, we'll try to recreate those games. Not exactly, obviously, but just recreate the idea of those games in Godot. So I hope you have a wonderful day, and thank you.